have ten thousand pounds. So that's all right. It is. You walk away, ten grand. Not a bad sort of ten minutes work. No. But you are two away from fifty thousand pounds. You still have a phone, a friend. Uh, if you give me a wrong answer at this point, you would lose nine grand. You only guaranteed one thousand. Question number six is for twenty thousand pounds. Have a look and tell me what you want to do. How many Tour de France races did Lance Armstrong win during his career? Three, five, seven, nine. I absolutely don't know. Now, you have got a lifeline. You can phone a friend. You can still take that ten grand if you're not happy with their answer. Who would know? Um, Who do you think would know? I have Paul as my... But knowledgeable phone a friend, but I'm not sure if. Is this hubby? Yeah. Is he a cycling fan? Um, no. But he may just know this random piece of information, let me think. I'll, I'll ring Paul, please. Okay, right, phone Paul. Uh, tell him the question, four possible answers, and then see what you want to do. Hello. Paul? Yes. Chris Tarrant here. Hello. Hello there. Well, you know what that means? I do, yes. You remember Vicky disappeared for a day? I do. Well, she's here now. She's in the chair, which is good news. But she's stuck on a particular question. She thinks, hopes you'll know the answer. Uh, serious business, mate. It's worth £20,000. OK. OK. So the next voice you hear will be your wife's. She tell her the question, four possible answers, one of them is worth 20 grand. She's on £10,000 at the moment. All right, Paul. OK. OK, right. Vicky, 30 seconds. Good luck, darling. Your time starts now. How many Tour de France racers did Lance Armstrong win during his career? Three, five, seven or nine? Lance Armstrong. Three, five, seven or nine? 13 seconds. Um... I'm 50-50 between five and seven. OK. Thank you. I'm not 100% sure. OK. Thank you. Good luck. Now, he didn't give you any advice, did he? Now, what can you do? You have 10,000. You yeah. lose nine if you give me a wrong answer. I didn't think he'd really know, but... Um, I'm going to walk away. Sure, you're going to take the money? I'm going to take the money. Thank you. Final answer? That is my final answer. Okay, give her a big hand. Vicky goes away with £10,000. <laughs> so you phone, you phone the old man and he says, I'm mm, not sure it's between five and seven. I can tell you, Tim up there behind you says it's definitely seven. Right. The right answer was. Seven. I should have gone with Lucky Seven. Well, you should have left him at home and brought your husband yeah. and had him up the back and phone Tim. But... She goes away with £10,000. Well done. <laughs> nice and quiet, please, audience. Here comes their next question. Put these Star Wars sequels in the order they were released. Attack of the Clones, The Empire Strikes Back, The Phantom Menace, Return of the Jedi! OK, three contestants have already gone home with money. We want at least one more. Seven remain. This is the right order. Uh, Empire Strikes Back, that was back in 1980. Then The Jedi, 83. Uh, Phantom Menace 1999 and Attack of the Clones was in the year 2002, so that's the right order. Now, how many got it right out of our seven remaining contestants? Let's have a look. Uh, one, Rachel Atkins, <laughs> that rather excitable girl in 3.77 seconds. Come down, come, come. No, it's all right. No, oh, yes. Right, yes, it was you. Yes. I've got Pimmy Magic Lipstick. Yes, pull your, yes, pull your, 
Pull your magic knickers. Pull your ma you want your magic knickers? Oh, boy. OK. Pull your magic knickers up. Now, do you want to pay oh for a million? God, Calm really yourself. Do. OK. Do you want to pay for a million pounds? Nothing oh, yes, it. please, Christopher. <laughs> that would be very nice. Let's go. Good go. Next up is the very excitable Rachel Adkins from Besford in Worcestershire. Rachel says she drifted into all sorts of jobs when she first left school. Her career path started in earnest when she got into people management. Then she got a swimming teaching qualification and she now runs a photographic business. It seems she's finally found her vocation because she says she's absolutely loving it. She's loving being married as well to Tim for four years. He's come along with Rachel this evening and they have two very young daughters, Tabitha <laughs> and Nell. Right, 12 questions, three brand new lifelines, £1 million. Pounds. Rachel, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Right, question number one is for £500. Pounds. Here it is. Complete the phrase, as neat as a new... dot, 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 question mark. Nail. Pin. Tack. Peg. Mm. It's obviously pin, but when you're sitting here, it's not so obvious. But it must be pin. Chris, please. Final answer? <laughs> yes. Yes, it's the right answer. You've got £500. <laughs> there are no trick questions on Millionaire. You have all three lifelines. This is for £1,000. Give me a right answer. You're guaranteed to go back to Worcestershire with at least that amount of money. Have a look. Question number two. Who famously sang Happy Birthday to President Kennedy in May 1962? Julie Andrews, Barbara Streisand, Marilyn Monroe, Judy Garland. It was C, Marilyn Monroe. <coughs> Final Excuse answer. me. Yes, please. Sure? Yep. It's the right answer. You got £1,000. <laughs> Magic knickers. <laughs> you told me you're wearing magic knickers. Um, magic. You have £1,000. Question number three is for £2,000. <clears> you have not yet touched any lifelines. Here it comes. The Trans Siberian Railway is mainly in which country? China, Mongolia, Russia, Korea. It's one of those questions where I'm sure I know, I think I know the answer. I don't know whether I can risk not playing on further. But I'm going to kick myself if I use a life line. You've got £1,000 guaranteed. You're ten away from a million. I'm going to ask the audience, please. Right, audience, all of your keypads, please. Here it comes. The Trans-Siberian Railway is mainly in which country? Now, A on your keypads is China. B is Mongolia, C is Russia, D is Korea. A, B, C or D, it's worth £2,000. All vote now. Ninety-five <laughs> percent say Russia. Ninety-five percent is quite high. It's possibly Russia, Chris. I'll go with Russia, please. Is that what you're thinking all the time? Yeah. Final answer. The right answer, you've got £2,000. <laughs> Feel good? <laughs> yes, Chris. Um, you have £2,000. This is real money. This is not a home. Mm. This is proper money, proper cash. You have two more lifelines. You can still phone a friend and you can still use 50 50. Question number four is for £5,000. Lock, Hurley and Sawyer. Um, why are you grinning at me? Best programme on the television, apart from this one, of course. <laughs> Second best programme on the television. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you think? What do you want to it's, see come up on that screen? It's lost. If it doesn't come up, 
panic. Yes. OK, Locke, Hurley and Sawyer are major characters in which US TV drama series for five grand? Charmed, Lost, Deadwood, Switched. Final answer B, Lost. Is that your final answer? Yes. I thought it would be. It's the right answer, you've got £5,000. And you knew it. Stop looking right. Oh, Tim, oh, darling, it's me. Stop it. <laughs> right. You have £5,000. You have two lifelines. You are three away from £50,000. <clears> have a look, question number five. This is for 10000 Here it comes. Who called her 2005 autobiography Extreme? Davina McCall, Sharon Osbourne, Fiona Phillips, Scylla Black. For 10 grand. Who called their 2005 autobiography Extreme? Davina McCall, Sharon Osbourne, Fiona Phillips, Scylla Black. I really, really don't know, unfortunately. I wish I'd saved my. Ask the audience for this one. Yeah, um, you see, for Russia. Mm. And again, you want to be sure, double sure on that one. You have a 50 50, you can phone a friend. If you take away two, will that help? Well, I don't think it's still a black. Why not? I think it's between Davina McCall and Sharon Osbourne. You could phone a friend, you could get rid of two. You could do both. Can I go 50-50, please? You can. Right, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Rachel the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Now, you said for some reason it's definitely not Scylla Black. If you're wrong, Scylla's just cost you four grand. It's the kind of thing people say when they're scared they're going to get it wrong, and I'm scared I'm going to get it wrong, so £1,000 is more than I had when I came here. I'm fairly sure that it's Sharon Osborne. Are you sure enough to risk losing 4,000? I'm certainly sure enough to risk losing 4,000. I'm not sure how willing I am to risk the opportunity to keep going, but I'm going to go B, Sharon Osborne. Final answer. Final answer, Sharon Osborne. Please. You just won ten thousand pounds. Being all fired up about the fighting here and across the pond later on challenge, Wrestle Talk TV at eleven.